Hey guys, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com and we're on video three here, PinFest 2012 in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And we're finishing up the free row here. You can see guys are still setting up machines. Gottlieb's four player spin wheel. Yeah. Zigzag and rain, rainbow. And twin bill. Here's a twin bill. Gotta like those pretty girls on the back glass. Monopoly. Okay guys, let's uh, let's check out the flea market now. We're going to start uh, touring around the flea market. I'm just going to roam around here. Um, this is PinFest 2012 in Allentown, Pennsylvania, a pinball show, and it's new location in a very, very large building. And uh, the vendors can pull right in with their trucks. Look at that big trailer in here. So this is perfect. It avoids all the hassles with rain, and um, you get the best of everything. You get the pinball show and the flea market. So. That's what we're doing. We're shooting some video, show you guys what it's all about. My name's Mickey Treat. I'm from Rochester, New York, and I do vintage coin op videos and I restore vintage coin op stuff ball bowlers, pinball machines, jukeboxes, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, there's even some jukeboxes for sale here. Look at that. It's a nice jukebox. Look at this guy over here. He's got, you want wooden legs for your wood rails? Well, come on down. You could buy all those legs in that one container for $35. That's a great deal. Wooden legs for bowlers, wood rails, some pre-war pins here. I bought a bunch of bowler heads. They were out here, like, like these things right here. I bought five of them for $100, the whole box with the back glasses for my game room. So. Motorcycle. Yeah. What, what's your name, sir? Bob Adams. Bob, how are you? Excellent. I'm Mickey Treat from CoinOpNewYork.com, and I know Bob. I've met him before. He's been coming to Allentown for a long time. He always sells something. What do you think about being indoors with your trailer? It's better than being out in the rain. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. And you're happy, right? Delighted. Yeah, you're right next to the snack bar, and you're right, right, you're seeing all your buddies. And they're all good people. We're yeah. Here to have a nice day. Yeah. So it's nice. So you. you and best of all, behind you is a motorcycle. <laughs> game. He's he's been trying to sell me this motorcycle yeah. game right here. 150 bucks. No, 100. Well, 100. But you know what I like about this? It's got this this marquee here that's three dimensional. It's really cool. Back glass is toasted though, it's not very good. And the cabinet on the bottom is a little bit water damaged. The parts inside are a little rusty. Uh, it could be a good project for a hundred bucks. Uh, I don't know, it's big. What are you gonna do? It's even got a nice bowler back glass up there. Look at that. So this is Bob's booth. He's got this huge trailer in here. My buddy bought this rocket pinball machine. That's real nice. New guy that just got in a hobby, his name's Dave. I actually brought a machine down from, from Rochester, New York, so he could buy it. See, we're inside here, and uh, big trucks, in and out, so. Say hello. All right, let's keep doing this flea market thing here. These were these Seabird gun games. These all got sold right away. These are really a nice shape. They look like they've been restored and stuff. I mean, look at these things. Beautiful. Let's back out of this guy's booth a little bit. There's more projects over here. Little tin toys and vending machines. And Bob's got it all. Bob, you came prepared for this show. Yes, sir. He, yes, he's a good vendor. He's a good vendor. Here's a cool little radio right here. This is nice. Anyways, we're just going to keep touring a ray gun. Yep, you can buy a ray gun at the pinball show. <laughs> Some pre-war pins, a golf stream, love tester. Look at this with a, with a uh, cracked mirror, but $250, original love, love, love tester. Bunch of pre-war pins over here. 
little sign says 50 cents to play. I almost bought this little, it's called ski Do. It's got a pretty cool, uh, the ball comes on the play field, goes around that circle a couple times and then goes down there. I almost bought that. I could have got it for 40 bucks. Not too bad. Here's a cool one right here. We cast uh, Red Arrow pre-war pen. And, uh, you know, if you're into pre-war pens, you wanted a cheap project, here's some candy machines right here. Look at all this bowler equipment, doors and pin hoods and boxes and play fields and stepper units and gosh, I mean, it's a great deal. Mickey, what are you doing? Doing a video for YouTube, for uh, my website. Hi. Yep, say hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> You're on there. <laughs> Look at all these legs here. All right, Bob's got a whole truck trailer full of stuff. Here's a, looks like a, uh, another, this one's sold. Strength grip, strength test. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Grip test. Here's a snack bar again and some benches to sit on. And we're going through here, more flea market over here. Here's a guy that's got a whole box of score reels you can buy. It looks like a lot of them are united and parts and stuff like that. Relays and coils. Come get your parts. Come to PinFest 2012. Pick up parts for your machines. Now I'm working boards, DMD displays. There's a boot hill. This one was sold already. And some sort of tiger game. Todd Turkey's booth, Wild Kingdom. Wild Kingdom. Gun game, very cool. We got some more projects over here. There's an old wood rail, just 21. Todd's got glass over here, sheets of glass if you want to buy glass. Five dollars a sheet. He's got some ratty old play fields and some, some back glasses. Back glasses, 25 to 100 bucks. So he's got a whole stack of them here. I guess you'd have to go through them like Disco Fever is 100 and he's got Gogar. Let's see here. He's got a bingo. He's got an eight ball. Pocorino. Aspen. 21. That looks like some sort of bingo thing. Flash. Knight Rider. 50 bucks. Road Kings. And Superstar. So, nothing earth shaking. But, let me put those back so I don't break them. Bunch of play fields. So, let's keep doing the flea market here. This guy's got a lot of project games over here. You can see there's a uh, World Series head. I guess he's got the body too here. Valley Contest. I always liked the back glass because of all the pretty girls on it. Uh, and it's got a cool play field too. It's just I don't think the game's that much fun to play. So I don't know what he's got over there. How much is his Bon Voyage? We're looking at about 60. Hey, there's a beat the clock project. Uh, there's two of them. You get both of them. One set of legs, you get both of them for 600 bucks. Beat the clock. There's a gridiron. What, my favorite pitching bat. That's what I brought to put on free play. There's a space lab or sky lab. Big hit. Okay, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com. Make sure you go to video four to see more from PinFest 2012 in Allentown, New York.